Hey, this is Roger on location on a Taylor Morrison neighborhood called Chapel Cove. I want to point out a couple things from the outside of this Rochester home. The outdoor living space, number one. The beautiful uh, work together of the brick and the stacked stone there. And then this large room over the garage, which you're going to see. Sometimes we call that a frog, a family room over the garage. You know, what's interesting is I had a request from a, one of my YouTube uh, subscribers. His name's James. And uh, I had shot a Taylor Morrison model not long ago. And James requested, hey, what about the Rochester model? I said, James, I'm so glad you asked. That's what I do. And we'll share it with the world as well. I had to hunt one down. This was in the final stages of construction. Again, I always look for that light at the back. I love that. Now the uh, smoke detector doesn't have a battery, so it's chirping. Wow, two-story entry. I mean, all the way up. And I mean a big one. This is what you see in luxury homes, where it's not just a two-story entry, but it's, you know, this is broad and wide. It's beautiful. Now over here, let's call this a dining room. It's got space for a hanging fixture. Uh, it's got a cool little bump out there. But it's also got what, we, what I call a dirty pantry. I got that name from Grandfather Holmes and Tammy Coulter. So let's say you're having dining room dinner and instead of you taking all of the plates into the kitchen and loading them up, you just throw them right there off of the dining room table and deal with it later. That way when everyone congregates around the island or in the great room that you don't have to be troubled with that. Now see, this is really cool right here. I mean, you can push a pause if you want to on this one. This is basically an island with a table on it. I mean, there's your breakfast room table, y'all. Beautiful. Large island. This particular one has these lovely antique cabinets, five burner stove. If you haven't bought a house for a while, uh, I don't know if you probably haven't been researching stoves, but we just uh, uh, got a new one and you have a basically a turbo burner to get stuff hot fast. And then you have a simmer burner, which I used just today on some soup that I made last night, reheating it up. Now, I love this kitchen. And you see how it opens up wide? Now, they're going to call that the breakfast room, but I already showed you what I think is a dining room. You could use that for anything. Wide open bank of windows in the great room. And, of course, a lovely stacked stone fireplace with mantle and niches for uh, you know, cabinets or furniture. So this is what the Rochester looks like. Very nice. And there's some other things I discovered which when we go upstairs that I think make this thing pretty magnanimous. You know, things like that. A little bump out there, place for a piece of furniture. You know, a hutch, a bookcase, whatever. And the cupboard uh, porch that I showed you at the beginning of the video from outside is right here. I'll bet you that could be screened in quite easily. Eight foot doors, which just says luxury to me. So let's just wander around a little bit in the back here of this first story and see what we discover. Um, you've got a really a generous pantry and little things like this, taking advantage of the space under the stairway. How smart is that? Put your Christmas tree in there. Uh oh, second time I've seen this in two days. A little home management center where you're going to pay your bills or have your uh, child's uh, homework center. And uh, I'd be running my real estate business probably right out of there. Come in from the garage, drop zone. You know, the eight foot doors just make this look elegant. Count those four hinges. So now we have, a, again, a little vestibule into what I'm calling a multi-generational suite. And here's why. You've got this room first. I'm going to call this mom's new living room. She puts her couch right there. Puts her TV and her furniture there. This is her living room, folks. And then, if you order this from scratch, you probably would order the full bath with a, sh a shower, maybe even a zero entry shower. And then you've got a full bedroom back here. You got everything but a kitchen. How beautiful is this? Closet. So instead of allowing your mother to spend her years or dad in a nursing home, let them come with you, have their own little suite. And in fact, instead of putting the TV there, why not put a little kitchenette in there? Let them have a microwave and a sink and all that. I love this house. This particular one is for sale just under 500,000. And that seems like a tremendous value to me. You know, there's something so special about all the multi-generational and aging in place that we're hearing about. In other words, you can spend a lot of money fast by putting someone in a nursing home 
and uh, just think, especially if you've got children and, and that's your grand, their grandmother or grandfather, think about the beauty and really the financial sense it makes to have them live it out with you. I mean, if this house at 500,000 is a bit too salty for you, but your mother or dad could kick in half, how beautiful would that be? I love this now. Let's go into this room. This is a full bedroom, but it's got a full bath right next to it. So that's convenient. You got this area where, with an outlet there where you could put a desk. Again, a good homework spot. We'll go down there in just a second. First, I want to show you these other bedrooms. Got a bedroom here that enters into this. Two sink, Jack and Jill. Great for the kids. That bedroom is the front one. I'm having trouble keeping up with the bedroom count, y'all. This house has got a bunch of them. I mean, this space right here is, is pretty special. It's, it's large. And then the volume that you feel here, and even if you added crown molding all around here, that wouldn't cost much to make it really, really special. And then the last room, again, we've got a laundry room. Last room is this one. Yeah, the master. So we've got, again, kind of a vestibule entryway. Windows, tray ceiling, lots of windows. And you're going to be amazed when you see what I just discovered as I was previewing this. Got a good-sized closet right here. You go into this room, and so, like so many people, I don't want a tub, I don't need a tub. Look how big that shower is with that frameless glass. Tile all around, seat. I just love a tile on, in the, on the drain. And you've got a, lots of counter space, undermount sinks, lots of mirror, and you've got separate commode room and a second, a second closet. How cool is that? So this is the Taylor Morrison Rochester model. It can be built in several neighborhoods. So give me a call at 704-345-3400. Let me help you with your purchase. I've met so many people. In fact, just recently, the last couple of weeks, I've met uh, two folks in model homes that had bought without me, but they recognized me when they saw me because they've been watching my videos. Hey guys, I do this for a living. My services to you are free. I'm a buyer's agent. I can certainly help you list your house in the Charlotte area. Hey, as a buyer's agent, let me earn your business and help you with your transaction. I'm free to you, and I do answer my phone. So if you're buying a new home, don't do it alone. Pick up the phone, 704-345-3400. Here's that huge bonus room, and I bet we could put a door on it if you want. Taylor Morrison's Rochester model. I can't wait to talk to you soon. The number's on the right of the screen at the bottom. Let's talk.